What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World and right here we're going to be jumping into a game with a guy that definitely had balls of steel. And when I say that, that's a compliment because a lot of dudes can't take losses and for whatever reason, it is what it is. Um, you know, some people just feel like, yo, you know what? I have no choice to I have no chance to win, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pull the plug. You know, I can't really do that. I don't know what it is about me. I don't you know, I don't know what makes me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm a very um, unique individual that was bred by a, a very, very uh, long line of savages. So I just try to go out and find, oh, okay, dot me. I just try to go out and find a way, like even if I'm in a situation where I know like it's, it's possibly gonna be definite defeat, I gotta find a way to make the best out of the situation. This dude right here, I, I don't know what he was doing and I gotta give him a lot of credit because in his first drive, I'm like, yo, this dude, he don't give a F. Like you could always know when a dude was only raw in Madden 16 and 17. Like, from the first drive, you know exactly what's going on. And the game has changed over the last couple of years, so it's actually very, very interesting for us to see and, and understand the mechanics of the game. And for, and for the guys that are like the OGs, that's why I give Problem Right a lot of credit, because Madden has changed. And um, a lot of things that didn't used to work, they work now, and things that, work, that used to work don't work. So you have to adjust, and that's the biggest thing. A lot of people, um, that said the game was good, they, after the patches, they're finally starting to admit that, look, you know, some things are wrong with it. And like I said, we just have to know how to address it with EA Sports. We can't be douchebags about it. Yo, get dotted real quick. We can't be, you know, you can't go very, very angry and try to talk to, a, you know, a developer like, yo, what the F, F you. You gotta be, you know, professional. You know what I'm saying? Like, we gotta dot this dude real quick. We're gonna do his moms in a second. But, you know, speaking of these type of situations, this dude right here, like I told you, he came like he missed the field goal. That's why he has uh, six points. He came out, scored, and just kicked the field goal nowhere near where it was going. Then, then he started to show his true colors. You see, the biggest thing about Madden 16 and 17 is that you have to give them, yo, get dotted real quick. You have to give them a chance to show their true colors. And what I mean by that is you got to make a bum just like outright just turn into him re his real self. And it's very, very hard to do that in Madden 17 because bums usually win. They just throw the ball up in the air and they don't care. Like right there, like, look, listen, he just threw it up. I knew what this was going to be because all I had to do was stay in front of any of his receivers. And okay, he just running around. He just getting swerved all over the place. So, yo, hashtag TSG. You know how we do out here. But the dude, he didn't really care. And that's like, a, that's a trait that you need to win games in 16 and 17. I'm telling you right now, you see how they had that. I don't know if, uh, if everybody that's watching this video um, does the uh, solos for like the uh, Madden challenge and stuff like that. But look at the video when I predicted that uh, Dub Dot Dubby would not win at all. Just go ahead and look at the video. I put the video out way before they played the games for the Madden Challenge, the one that Beast Mode Mac just won. Uh, he beat Skimbo in the finals. The reason that I know that, that I know that Dub Dot Dubby wouldn't have won that and he's not going to win the championship, is because the game is not consistent. And what I mean by that is it doesn't matter how good you are or how good you think you are. You're going to get somebody that, that's just going to do whatever they want. And that's the key. Beast Mode Mac was do- Yo, I, look, you need a lot of luck to win Madden- Okay, yeah, go ahead, swap the ball the way. You need a lot of luck to win Madden games to begin with. Like, my guy just dove at nothing, he just dove at the air. Um, that's the number one thing. You, you need luck, right? But when you have luck and you also don't give a F, you're definitely going to probably win a Madden game. Like, look at this guy, bro. Like, it, I know it's the end of the half, but you, really, you're gonna just, th that's your play? You're just gonna run for, like, just throw the ball away, bro. There's, yo, get swerved, by the way, get swerved. Yeah, we're about to do his moms too, don't trip. But that's what I wanna make you guys understand. This guy right here, he's too legit to quit, but he also is a certified bum. And I'm not, I'm saying that with love, because the same way that I'm blowing this guy out is the same way I could go right into the next game and get the same treatment. So I, because the game just doesn't, yo, pick that, the game just doesn't have a lot of consistency with it. The best player is not always going to win because there's so many things that can happen. So that's why I don't really go crazy about it. Like a lot of guys are coming to the stream like, yo, bro, you flooding this guy. I'm like, okay. Because I know the next game, the same dudes that's saying that, yo, g you you getting flooded. Like they, they, it's a lot, it doesn't make any sense. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why the rage levels are so high when you're playing Matt, like he's supposed to drop it. That animation was supposed to be a strip, but he'll hold on to that. And it is, this guy will just swat the ball out when there's a direct interception right to him because that's what the game is designed to do. More than likely, they're gonna bat the ball down. They're not gonna go for the pick. They're gonna, you see what I'm saying? They're gonna drop a pick. They're gonna bat the pick. It, these are the things that happen. So in past Maddens, that's going back for six. 
Look, look, ball physics, ball physics, the balls bounce all over. Bro, they're playing soccer. It's a lot of things that go on. So what I'm saying is, we have to start focusing on the things that we want to see change. And like, and I'm going to get all of our words to EA Sports. I'm going to talk to the developers. I'm going to communicate as best as I can. And we're going to see what happens. But it's a glaring, it's glaring issues with the game that needs to be addressed. And the biggest thing about it is, it can be bum friendly and still be a competitive game. But at this point, I'm telling you right now, like, like that was his pick. He should have picked that. But instead, the, guy, the computer is programming to swat it away. That, that's what it is. And these are all, um, you know, CPU controlled actions. There's nothing you can do about it. Even if you clicked onto that player, he's still going to back the ball down with you trying to intercept it. That's a problem because it takes away from the user interface of the game. So, like, like I said, man, this dude right here, this dude has straight up balls of steel, uh, titanium, steel to be exact. The dude is getting 50 burgered. He doesn't care. Um, he, you know, OBJ is picking the ball up. Like it was just like a crazy game. And a lot of the dudes that I run into, they watch my video. So for the most part, they won't quit. But it's just it's amazing that there's still dudes like that out there because I can't realistically call this dude a bum because he takes his ass whoopings. Like if you take your ass whooping, bruh, like I oh, bruh, everybody knows. Dudes, I'm telling you, I'm, yo, Madden 16, when Mike Scrape, aka Mike Rake 3 came out, that video was still out. I'm gonna probably have to link it to you guys. I got flooded from a dude that, you know, that, that's usually in my stream. Bro, the dude was beating the hell out of me, bro. It was crazy. But I was sitting and trying to figure out how to, how am I gonna deal with Mike Scrape 3 the next time I see it? I can't quit the game. If I quit the game, how the hell, what am I gonna keep doing? Keep quitting the game every time I start losing? Like, I have to figure out how to stop it. So eventually I figured out how to stop Mike Scrape 3, and it was no longer an issue for me. But, oh, that just rhymed. My scrape three, no longer an issue for me. That, yeah, I, I gotta go, I gotta, he caught that? All right, cool. I gotta go bust a rhyme right quick. But it is what it is, guys. This dude right here deserves a lot of credit. Uh, what did I say, credit? Credit. Shout out to this guy, man. Um, the dude knows how to take a vicious ass whooping and also catch the ball off mad tips to end the game. To show me that EA Sports is still EA Sports. And it's at any given Sunday, bro, you're gonna get that L in your file. So it is what it is. See you guys and girls next time. Jumai's world. One love.